Good morning, my name is Steve Salih and I'm superintendent here at Salton Public Schools and today is Friday, February 14th. Happy Valentine's Day to everybody. Um, wanted to do a, a, another video blog here, give you an update on a few um, topics that we're working on in the district. And the, and the first one is we've been working with the school board on a strategic plan. And we've spent two evenings so far this year, each about three hours apiece, working on this plan. Um, you may have seen the survey that went out. We, we took the time to survey the students, the staff, and, and our stakeholders within the district. And, uh, though that survey went out to all parents and was also accessible on our website. We took all that feedback that we got from the survey and we used that to come up with our strategic plan. So we had some very interesting discussions. Um, we talked about a lot of different topics. We did look through those surveys very um, thoroughly and we read every single comment that was made as well. Um, three things that as we go back now administratively and we put together a formal strategic plan here, um, three main topics that we were basically came up with to focus on were number one, um, we want to educate the public on the, on the upcoming referendum that's going to be taking place this next November. I'm going to talk a little bit about that later in this blog. The second thing is, is we want to come up with a community marketing plan to promote our schools in a positive way. We've had a lot of discussion on this through the years, and, and we feel like we have a lot of great things to offer here at Southland, and we want to come up with a way that we can get that information out. So when people are trying to um, decide which schools they want to go to or send their kids to, um, you know, we, we know that Southland's a great place with a very supportive community, and, and how do we best market that to, to our community members. Um, and then the third thing is we want to come up with an, some improvement strategies uh, for technology integration. Um, as you know, we've implemented the one-to-one -one device initiative here, and we have spent a lot of time um, getting teachers trained and trying to get those devices into the hands of kids, and um, we have a fantastic tech support system here uh, with Ben Rayburn and Jeff Oyen, and we want to continue to go that direction on um, you know, started keeping working with teachers and come up with, with better ways that we can use those devices. And our teachers have put a lot of time into training and things like that as well. So those are the three main areas. We did talk about a number of other things, including school safety and bullying and all those types of things. And um, those are not being pushed on the back burner. Those are the things that will always be in the forefront. But, but those three items are the, the main focus of our strategic plan. So those of you that took the time to do the survey, I do appreciate that. Um, talk a little bit about the upcoming referendum in November. You've heard me talk a little bit about it in the past. Um, we will be going up in November. If you look at our last six to seven years here, um, we, we went through some very, very difficult times six, seven years ago with some major budget reductions. We did pass a referendum at that time that really put us back on track. And since then, we've um, been able to build up our fund balance and, and make Southland a very financially stable school district. And now last year was the first year that we've gone back into deficit spending. And the reason for that is, number one, declining enrollment. We have lost 100 students over the last five years. Um, and that's just mainly due to um, uh, larger graduating classes and smaller kindergarten classes coming in. And so that makes a big difference. The other thing is, is two years ago we had a referendum that came off. And the school board decided not to try to replace that referendum because we did have a solid fund balance. And they wanted to give the taxpayers a break. And hopefully you have noticed that in the last couple of years. So this spring, as, as I get out and I do some public presentations, I'm going to be um, doing some community meetings on our, our strategic plan and also tied into World's Best Workforce. I'll have some information about the, the referendum as well. We're working on putting those things together as well. So I appreciate you tuning in. If you ever have any questions, feel free to give me a call or shoot me an email. Thank you.